Is this also the floor we haven't checked the bathrooms? This is also the floor we haven't checked the bathrooms. I always make the joke that never go into a bathroom in Silent Hill because there's always a bad guy in there, but you always get bullets in bathrooms. Okay, so... Okay, which door is it, though? This way? Kind of back. Hi, Mom. Everyone say hi, Mama Spoopy. Thanks. Hate it. Bye. Nope. Well. Well, I would have been big brain. I would have had a big old wrinkle brain if that's where it had been. All right. Mom, do you remember where the end of the story is? Did it beat the monster on the first floor? And what to do with our silver coin? Oh, stop it. We have a silver coin. We have not been able to find a use for it just yet. I can turn this down. Suspicions. Oh, hello? Yeller? Yeller? Hello? What the flying fuck was that? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> nope. All right. Is this where we got the coin? Yes. Okay. Turning down the turning down the radio helped immensely. Okay, cool. Well, now we have first aid and bullets. I, that didn't help me like whatsoever, but we did that now. So we've been in there. <sighs> Let's go back up this way. I hate all those little guys. I hate them. 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 Here's the middle. Again. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to the word the, a word the priestess said. But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Cool, 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 cool. She said, it gets the life insurance key in the vending machine, she thinks. Well, there we go. Let's go see. life insurance i need some life insurance if i'm living in this place have you seen the conditions of these floors you could fall right through hello do you know how long it would take me to even try this 
they're not great. A key. Life insurance key. Cool. Where's the life insurance? There's got to be a floor that's got a locked side that we haven't been to. Elberton Life Insurance, floor one. Let's go meet our neighbor. Absolutely not. Could never be me. I'll be back, my dude. Haha. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you and I don't want to hear you. Oh, I hear a dog. I appreciate hearing a dog. Hi. Cool, I'm out of shotgun shells. That's what we love to see. Cool, 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 cool. This is also what we love to see. We got nothing to say about, oh, wait. You got nothing to say about this? Or is there something on the other side? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, hey, the end of the fairy tale. <clears throat> the king and his people shed tears at the depth of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granting their wishes healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes, just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu foi ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess and they all lived happily ever after. Tu fui ego eris? Oh, fui. I was writing. <gasps> what was that? Yeah, there is an anime episode with a with a lightsaber. I think you just beat the game. I guess we probably should check all these doors to see if there's anything in here that we might want. Is it this way that I have to go? Yes. Two fooey ego errors. go to bed it's 1 30 in the morning absolutely have a wonderful night casey thank you again for the biddies and stopping by i hope you had fun oh my god the flashbang oh my goodness look at this it's all normal again check everywhere we've missed 70 items in silent hill so I'm checking everywhere for all the items checking everywhere for items I'm not seeing any. Bye, queen. Bye. Tomorrow, Throttle is in our house. Oh, Throttle. <laughs> that moment when Throttle is in your house and not in stream chat. That's that's what you were saying. I was like, tomorrow? What about tomorrow? It's like, what's happening tomorrow? What don't I know? I forgot that he had to stop by your guys' house. He literally told me. It's not that I forgot that he was going to do it. I just, I knew that he was going to be gone longer. <sighs> I will calm down. Oh, hey, an alley. Exactly what we should go running down. I just want to point out, we're not even in Silent Hill. <laughs> Before we're ever Daisy Villa apartment. Oh my gosh, are we finally home? Let's check the mail. 
Oh, these are laundry. Never mind. This is not the mail. That's not my place. What what is our what is our room? 102 is carved into the key. I can't tell what the doors say. Oh, that's 103. Okay, okay. Elevators, stairs. Oh, it's safe. Flashbang warning. What's this doing here? That really pisses me off. It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes me my head hurt. What does it mean? Oh, Dad, I'm home. <laughs> Don't mind the shotgun. <sighs> Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. <gasps> I'll kill you, you bitch! <laughs> <sighs> there is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No, I'll never understand! You must try to remember me, and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. Oh! So, what will you do? I don't have shotgun bullets! I'll kill you. I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. I don't have any mullets for my shotgun. Oh, dear God! Oh, 
Heather, this is not the time. Okay, well, what do we do? What do we do about this? Oh, I need to get him in the back. Okay, we need to get him in the back. We need to get him in the back. Hi. Hi, Jack. How are you? No, 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 no. Come on, dude. Come on at me. Come at me. Come at me. No. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, ow, ow. Oh. Oh shit, I used two of those. Gosh dang it. Oh girl, you better run! Ah, there's no root to any motherfucker! Kick him, kick him, kick him! Kick him! Kick him! Oh my gosh. Ah! Woo! Heather, we don't have we don't have the bullets to be missing. Get him, get him, get him, kick him, kick him, kick him in the dick. Oh! I'm doing good. My day was fine. It's ah! right, mother trucker. I've got your number. Oh my gosh, Heather. Oh. Can we, like, keep him in our sights, please? Is he getting tired? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Girlfriend! Oh, girlfriend! Oh, I'm dying. Shit, I didn't mean to use that many. <laughs> I'm just shooting him. Oh my gosh! This guy is ridiculous! Holy crap! sound fine. Calm down. I, I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead. He's murdered. Get out. This is all your fault. If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better. I will. Yeah, getting on Audi, man. Is he okay like this? 
What kind of question is that? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What will you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. You think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I will kill that bitch who killed my dad. I, I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Also, not the best place to leave to, by the way. Not the greatest place to leave to. Solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm gonna do. How are you gonna get there? None of your business. <laughs> I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Look, uh, I'll bring the car around back. Come out when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody's gonna cry over my grave anyway. Well, that's depressing. There's nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. Book Dad's bookshelf, there's nothing unusual about it. Let's see if there's anything in here that gives us hints before I drop the big facts. I'll find that woman that makes and make her pay, I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way. I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. Will you go? There's a closet, nothing to do here. Okay, is there anything in this room that will help me? Wait. There are books on the table. It's just his usual detective novel novels. Dad loved them. Oh, we have TV. Can we go in here? Oh, this must have been my room. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with her right now. Oh, what did I just pick up? Stun gun ammo? Excuse me? Morning always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's my hero line from this movie. What are you looking at, my hero? Oh, you're looking at the door. Anything else in here? So did we pick up the stun gun or did we just pick up the stun gun? Oh my God, we picked up the stun gun. High voltage to zap the bad guys. It, ha it has to touch them though, so it's very short range. Ooh, we got all kinds of ammo. Photos and pictures, they aren't particularly meaningful. I mean, I would say that they're pretty damn meaningful right now. Okay, for those of you who didn't pick up on it, they did call him Harry. Um, because the her dad is Harry Mason from the first game. So this is the dad who went looking for Cheryl all over Silent Hill 1. He, at the end of that game, if you get the good ending and he survives, the canon ending, um... He takes home a little baby, and that is Heather. 
we didn't get that ending when we played through because I didn't save um, some people, so. <laughs> Hello, Alu. Yeah, Mama Spoopy is here. Let's save. Where, there it is. Flashbang, everybody. I just met some guy named Vincent. Gross. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? No. I'm not sure. No. He said when we get to Silent Hill, to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Yeah, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Rest in peace, Harry. We knew ye well. 